Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we will see how we can represent the discrete time signal using impulse function. Any discrete time signal can be decomposed into a sequence of individual impulses. Here we can see that in one signal Xn, it consists of four impulses, four finite impulses. So here we can see that one impulse occurs at n is equal to minus 1 and other three impulses are given here at n equal to 0, 1 and 2. So we can represent any discrete time signal by sum of individual impulses. Here first we will see impulse value or magnitude of the impulse at n is equal to minus 1 is minus 2. That can be represented by x minus 1 delta n plus 1. Here delta n plus 1 is representing the location of the impulse in the given signal and x minus 1 is representing the magnitude value of that particular impulse. So delta n plus 1, it means that n plus 1 is equal to 0. It represents the location n plus 1 is equal to 0 or n is equal to minus 1. So here we can see that we have a given impulse at n equal to minus 1. So we can write x minus 1 here to show the value and its value is minus 2 for n is equal to minus 1 and we are writing 0 for n not is equal to minus 1. In the same way, in the similar way, we can represent some other impulses like that for n is equal to 0, we will write x 0 delta n. Its value is 2 for n is equal to 0 and 0 for n not equal to 0. In the same way, we will write impulse function for n is equal to 1, which magnitude value is 1. So x1 delta n minus 1, which value is 1 for n is equal to 1 and 0 for n not equal to 1. This delta n minus 1 means value at n is equal to 1. That's why we are writing x1 here. Similarly, we'll write x2 delta n minus 2 for the last impulse, which value is 2 for n is equal to 2. Now, if we add all these four impulses, we will get the desired signal that is given in the signal. Here, the given signal is this. We can represent the given signal by sum of individual impulses. Here, this signal is representing x minus delta n plus 1, where x minus 1 is minus 2 and impulse at n equal to minus 1. Similarly, this x0 delta n, here we can see that x0 is 2. So, we can write twice delta n here for this particular signal and third signal is x1 delta n minus 1 which value is 1 for x1 at n equal to 1 and if we add all these four signal we'll get the signal xn now we can write the signal by combination of all the individual impulses so xn can be represented by minus 2 delta n plus 1 plus 2 delta n plus delta n minus 1 because x1 is 1 here so we are writing 1 delta n minus 1 plus 2 delta n minus 2 so this expression is nothing but sum of all individual impulses now we can similarly here we have if we, here we have only four impulses in the particular signal if we have a large number of impulses in the signal or infinite number of impulses so we can represent any any discrete time signal by the linear combination of time shifted impulses. So this expression is representing the linear combination of time shifted impulses and its range from minus infinity to infinity. So we can represent any discrete time signal by sum of individual impulses. Here we will solve one example where x1 is given twice x1 n is given here 2, 4, 0 and 3. This under up arrow is representing the value index n is equal to 0. Where this under up arrow is given, it means this index is representing n equal to 0. And left side is the negative index and right side are the positive index. So in this case, 4 is at n equal to 0. So 2 will be at n equal to minus 1. And 0 at n equal to 1 and 3 at n equal to 2. So this signal is representing x minus 1 is equal to 2, x0 is equal to 4, x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 3. Now we can write this signal by x minus 1 delta n plus 1 plus x0 delta n plus x1 delta n minus 1 plus x2 delta n minus 2 because range beyond this signal is 0. 
signal is starting from n is equal to minus 1 and ending at n equal to 2 and signal value at n equal to 3 is 0 n equal to 4 is 0 signal values are n equal to minus 2 or n equal to minus 3 are 0 so we are writing x minus 1 delta n plus 1 x 0 delta n plus x 1 delta n minus 1 plus x 2 delta n minus 2 now here we will substitute the value of x minus 1 x 0 x 1 and x 2 in this expression and we will get the our results which is 2 delta n plus 1 plus 4 delta n and x1 is 0 here so this term is not coming here and plus 3 delta n minus 2 this is the solution for the first problem in the same way we can solve the problem 2 x2n where 2403 is given and this 0 is coming at n equal to 0 and 3 3 at n equal to 1 4 at n equal to minus 1 and 2 at n equal to minus 2 always remember under upper arrow is representing for the index n equal to 0 now if we solve this problem we will get delta n plus 2 or 2, we will get delta n plus 2 plus 4 delta n plus 1 plus 3 delta n minus 1. Because 3 is defined at 4 n equal to 1, 0 is defined for n equal to 0, so it, this term will not come. Delta n term will not come for this problem and 4 is defined for n equal to minus 1, so it will come 4 delta n plus 1 and 2 is defined for n equal to minus 2. So here we will get 2 delta n plus 1. So here we have seen the two problems or three problems for representing the any discrete time signal using impulse function. Thank you for watching this video.